Thank you, Jesus. Last time uh, when I gave the message uh, on the title, um, Forgiveness, it was very uh, blessing and beneficial for the brothers. I thank uh, Jesus. On continuation with that, I wanted to add two points uh, regarding that. Uh, when we forgive others, what does God does? Does he remain silent? I would just like to tell you, no. When we forgive, God comes in action. And he takes whatever we are owing, whatever wrong we have suffered, whatever abuses we have suffered, he fights our battles and he repays us back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to narrate a very wonderful testimony from my uh, engineering college uh, life. When I was doing my engineering in that hostel, I have a room partner from West Bengal. His name was Arjit Sarkar. So whenever I used to testify about Jesus, he used to say, hey, no, 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 I can't believe. I used to tell I was about to fail in my 12th class. I was not knowing how to balance the equation. Chemistry equation, CS3COH plus AL3OH. I didn't know even the balancing. That's the basic thing. Till that time, till now, I don't know. And how Jesus helped me to pass 71%. In maths also, I didn't know probability, integration, and so on. But Jesus helped me. Jesus performed a miracle. He granted me highest in chemistry, 84 out of 100. No, no, you should have studied. He used to always say like that. No, 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 I can't believe. What is miracle? No, no, there is no miracle. So he being a room partner, every evening it was really tormenting and torturing, troubling. So every time I used to witness, he used to, no, 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 I can't believe. No, Jesus doesn't perform miracle. I don't believe. I am my God and this, that. One day I was very, very, my blood was boiling. I was very angry with him. I thought I will shout at him, why don't you believe? I will fight with him. Something like that. I was really lost my cool. And that night, anyhow, I slept. Morning I woke up. And in the morning, I have a habit of reading Bible. That day, I opened with a heart full of anger, bitterness. Hey, what is this? So many months I have been testifying, but he's not believing. What kind of unbeliever he is? So when I opened the Bible, I was shocked. Read with me Psalms 28, verse 5. Beautiful verse. Psalms 28, verse 5. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. I, I opened the Bible and it just fell. My eyes fell on that verse. I could realize Jesus is speaking, my son, because he doesn't regard the works of the Lord, the wonders of the Lord, nor the operation of his hand, Lord shall destroy him and not build him up. I was so calm. As when the fire is there, when water is poured out, the fire quenches. My anger became cool. My heart was like eyes. Oh, very cool. Cool. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said, I will fight your battle. You need not fight with him. You need not shout with him. Let him not believe. I will take care. After a few months, suddenly, night, he was very studious, second topper in his class, production engineering. Suddenly, he was night, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, he used to study up till. I used to sleep 12 o'clock. He used to, tw uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. While he was studying, suddenly the bulb, table lamp bulb, burst. He was shocked. I was shocked. What has happened? It doesn't happen as a usual. In the rarest of rare cases, it will happen. Another time, cupboards were there for keeping our clothes, our books like that. In that, he had kept in one of the racks a shirt, and above that, there was an ink bottle. Suddenly, the ink bottle fell down. And whole clothes got spoiled in front of me. I said, what is happening? All this. Then after some days, I found out he's disturbed mentally, tensed. What has happened? He told, I had an argument with my own brother and sister-in-law. Misunderstanding developed. And right now he's tensed. After some weeks, 
a heartbreaking news came. His mother got cancer. He was totally shattered and disturbed. He used to see me reading Bible in the morning in the hostel when I, where I studied. In the, it's North India. Very, very few Christian people are there. I was like an amusement for them. I was fun for them. Hey, morning you are reading what? You are praying? You are not going for movies? You are not going for smoking, drinking, joking like that? What is there? They used to tease me, make fun of me. So he used to see me reading Bible. And he used to make fun of me. After all these events, one day he said, Samuel, can you pray for me? I said, yes, I can pray for you. I then gave him a New Testament. And I said, please read it. At least 10 minutes every day, you will be blessed. Because he faced failures of the second topper. From above high top position, he went, he failed in some of the subjects. Thank God. Hallelujah. Our God repays those who persecute us, those who torment us, those who don't believe, those who make fun of us. When we forgive, the Lord keeps an account. He repays back. 25th of this month, Christmas Day, I was shocked. Brother John and beloved sister Grace had invited me to their beautiful house and we had a lovely time of fellowship. For three hours, we were sharing the wonderful, thrilling testimonies and I praise God for uh, Joseph, Jerome, hallelujah, that Acts 2.17 is being fulfilled. The young man shall see visions, hallelujah. And I was really encouraged by hearing so Brother John's and Sister uh, Grace testimonies, thrilling testimonies of all their life. Three of us just passed like five minutes. Then five o'clock I came out, I said uh, evening is the service and brother has to come and play all those things. So I had time, so I thought, okay, why not I will walk from their house, it's not uh, very far from here. So I was walking and I came here uh, to the circle here, uh, after the Sultan Center, if you are coming from that side. After the Sultan Center, uh, there is a circle. Just uh, next to that, there is the one shop is there, a uh, car rental shop. That shop is very important for me. Last year, I had taken a car on rent. So he gave me a faulty car. After three months, this is the car. If you go uh, behind the Papa John, last street, that's the shop, car rental I had taken last month. 120 KD was the amount. Per, uh, per month I have to pay and after three months suddenly when I was going to the office sound started coming and uh, I got frightened what will happen I'm driving in 30 number road if you get stopped some sound is coming I checked the water everything it was okay I prayed Lord if it stops in between you know 30 number road 80 hundred feet rush is there if it gets stopped I will be crushed I will be dead Jesus saved me. Next day, I thought maybe some, uh, it will okay after some time. No, next day also. Then the second day, I came and showed that uh, car to that shop, car rental shop. He said, oh, we have to go to the car garage. He took me to the car garage and the car garage fellow checked. He said, the engine is damaged. I said, okay, engine is damaged. Uh, then I said, uh, you will uh, replace the engine. No, 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 no. No, no, why? He said, uh, no, uh, this engine, you have to uh, repair it. You have to replace it. What is this? Because before taking rent, I had inquired whether the full insurance is there or not. Kulu insurance is there or not. I don't know Arabic. He doesn't know that was Egyptian man. He doesn't know English or Hindi. So through his workers, I communicated this anyhow. He gave me some Arabic forms to be signed. I don't know what the form. I'm just simply signed it. First time I'm taking a car on rent here. My brother, my sister, if you want to take a rent on car rent, just uh, you can check with me. I can advise you as per my experience. I can suggest you. You should be very careful. People will advise you. Take rent, rent, take rent. No, no, no. I will advise you. You can meet me after the service. I will advise you the real advice. Yes, because I love you. I don't want you to suffer like me. So I signed the, and kept the paper. He said, no, only full insurance in the case of accident. If you bring the police report, then only uh, we will, uh, uh, means recompensate in and repair it like that. If engine get damaged, you have to replace. I said,
said, uh, how much it will cost? He said, 140 KD. I said, how can I pay 120 KD? I'm paying monthly and 140 for uh, engine repair? That is too much. I was jobless for many months. I got job with a great difficulty. I'm having financial strain. How can I pay this additional burden? I'm a poor man. No, 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 no. You have to pay. He said, you can check with any Indian, uh, your uh, garage, car garage. Where I will go, I have never gone to anyone. So, uh, my mother advised me strongly, you return and you give that money, 140 KD, what he's asking. Because I inquired to my secretary, her husband was a driver, so her husband, uh, friend has some workshop in Mahabula. I went there. He told Mitsubishi, a new engine will come, 210, new one. You have to replace new one. I said, okay, my mother strongly advised me, you go, that man, and uh, give 140 KD and return back. I just came and returned back. I gave 140 KD to him. And uh, un uh, means uh, it was no point in arguing. I forgot. But praise God, we have a God who keeps a record. That day, 25th, after coming from Brother John and Sister Grace's house, I was coming. I saw the shop close. There were some people standing. I asked, what happened? Why the shop is closed? 5, 5.30, 5.45, it should be open. In the evening, if two shifts are there, 5 o'clock, suddenly they will open. It was 5.45, 6 o'clock, it was closed. Then the next person, hey, this is for closed for one and a half months. I said, what happened? The owner, the company owner, the car rental owner, he got arrested. He is in prison. I said, what? What are you talking? Yes. He had made some Kuwaiti, he was Saudi man and he made some forgery in his documents and took Kuwaiti citizenship as forgery. So police caught him and put him in prison. Hallelujah. Your God is your vindicator. He will repay whatever injustice, whoever has harmed you, whatever losses you have faced, you might have forgiven. But Lord Jesus doesn't keep quiet. He defends you. He fights your battle. He shields you. He settles your case. Hallelujah. Thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever in the past, Brother Stephen, you have gone through. Hallelujah. Your losses, your setbacks will be turned to setups. Hallelujah. Stephen, brother, you are chosen by the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord loves you. Hallelujah. Deeply and dearly, he loves you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He says, don't worry, son. I have a bright future for you. As per Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, you shall sign. You might feel, oh, I have come from Ireland. I'm lonely here. This environment is altogether different. But don't worry. The Lord will enlighten you, darkness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight your battle. If I would have taken revenge, would I be able to put him in prison? I'm a small man. Except some few words, I couldn't have done anything. But praise God, Jesus is our vindicator. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 30 says, Hallelujah, the Lord, vengeance belongs to the Lord. The Lord will repay back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. New Year message as I was praying, the Lord led me to uh, meditate on some uh, scriptures that uh, was very encouraging. I uh, praise God for that. You might be, as you have entered in the new year, you might be worried, what will happen in my job? Whether I will be able to continue my job? Whether I'm searching for a job, will I get a job? What will about my children edu education? What about their job? What about their marriage? What about I'm building my house? I want to construct a house, but I don't have finances. Whether I will be able to get a loan? Whether I can settle my debts? You might have several questions. Hallelujah. But tonight, the Lord Jesus promises. Hallelujah. 